analog devices stand of Electronica 2022 wearing pyjamas um, because we are about to see an example of a very non-invasive sleep monitoring system. Um, it, essentially this uses an IMU, it uses an accelerometer, but it's using it in a way I've never quite seen before. I'm here with Kate who's going to explain the project while I lie down very still in the heat. Hi everyone, my name is Kate Fischel and I'm a research scientist at the Analog Garage, the research department of Analog Devices. And today we're going to talk about a non-contact vital sign monitoring system. So we are using the ADXL355 accelerometer. We placed it in a prototype case. And this has been placed in between the mattress and the mattress topper. It outputs its acceleration, measuring its movement in the bed, vibrations. And that output of the accelerometer is passed into our algorithm, which calculates heart rate, heart rate variability, and breathing rate. This non-contact vital sign monitoring system has a lot of utility in healthcare settings like hospitals, elder care, monitoring babies. It provides patients with more rest because they are not impacted when their vital signs are being monitored, and it can be incorporated into many different form factors. So I'll look over here. We actually, you are not dead. You have a lot of good vital signs. You can see your heart rate and your breathing rate being calculated from the outside accelerometer. In a little bit, so you should see your heart rate variability come up once you've had a lot of heart rate signals passing through our algorithm. I'll hand it back to you. Well, maybe we'll wait another few to see if you get some heart rate variability up on the screen. Ah, now we see it. Your heart rate is a little elevated. I guess uh, being a subject in a video is a slightly stressful situation. Watching, having everyone watch you sleep. Anyway, I'll pass it back to you. Uh, yes, this is uh, not the usual place that I would choose to sleep. Uh, um, but yeah, uh, it, it's worth stressing that this uh, this accelerometer is something that you can buy today. They even have one here with a 3D printed case. And I'll make sure that I link the exact model of that in the blog post and in the description of this video. However, the research is absolutely bleeding edge. And I was not aware until today that this is the amount of stuff that you could get from just an, acceleration, uh, an accelerometer. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, now get out of these pajamas because there's a lot of people looking at me and I do feel somewhat strange. Anyway, thank you so much. Conference. Yeah, this is really fascinating. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Yeah.